Listen up, fellow seekers of wisdom in the digital age. You stumbled upon a golden treasure, and no, I'm not referring to the latest viral video or meme. If you've ever found yourself scrolling through social media, sighing at the pressures of today's world, wondering why you can't just let things go, or simply wanting to care a tad bit less about every little thing, then you, my friend, are in the right place. You see, long before our modern-day challenges, some brilliant minds known as the Stoics lived their lives based on principles that, believe it or not, can teach us how to master the art of not giving too many cares. Ironic, isn't it, that ancient wisdom can guide our smartphone-filled, caffeine-driven lives? Over the next bit of your time, you're going to discover ten simple yet profoundly transformative Stoic principles. Principles so refreshing, they might just be the antidote to the chaos that is 21 century life. And hey, if you want to be the first to uncover more pearls of wisdom like these, go on and smack that notification bell and subscribe. What's the worst that could happen? You gain some wisdom? I challenge you, dare you even to take that step? Welcome to the enlightening world of Stoicism, where old meets new and where we get schooled in the art of keeping calm and carrying on. Now, shall we dive in? Control what's within, release what's beyond, picture this. It's a rainy Tuesday morning. You've just prepared the perfect cup of tea and right as you're about to sip, your cat knocks it over. The old you might have fumed, blamed whiskers, or even the universe for conspiring against you. But here's a stoic thought to chew on. We suffer more in imagination than in reality, said the legendary Seneca. Truth is, things happen. Teas spill. Cats are mischievous. What's within our control? Our reactions. Instead of letting our imagination paint a gloomy day ahead, we can choose to laugh it off and brew another cup. The world will keep throwing curveballs, but the power of our reactions, that's all ours. So, the next time your Wi-Fi is acting up during that crucial Zoom call or your pizza arrives cold, take a deep breath. It's not the cold pizza that disturbs us, but our interpretation of it. Embrace the present moment, Marcus Aurelius once mused. Do not let the future disturb you, for you will arrive there if you nurture your present. It's the 21st century. We have notifications binging every second and our thoughts race faster than our internet speed. Yet, what do we often miss? The now. Remember those days you walked in the park, but your mind was lost in tomorrow's tasks, or those family dinners where your thoughts drifted to past regrets? The Stoics teach us that today, this very moment, is a gift. So why squander it, worrying about the past or future? Being present isn't just about paying attention. It's about truly experiencing life, savoring your meals, listening to your friends and feeling the wind on your face. Let go of yesterday's regrets and tomorrow's anxieties. In the grand tapestry of life, it's the little moments stitched together that define our happiness. Accept change as nature's course? Ever noticed how effortlessly seasons change? Winter's frost melts to give spring its bloom. Yet, when faced with life's alterations, be it a job switch, a breakup, or a move, we resist. As Epictetus wisely put it, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Life is ever-changing, as fluid as the River Thames. Fighting against the current is exhausting, embracing it, that's where freedom lies. Life's nature is evolution. Just as Rome wasn't built in a day, you too are a masterpiece in progress. Every change, every twist and turn, adds a unique brushstroke to your canvas. So, Detach from external validation. In today's world, with every like, share, and comment, we've become hooked on external validation. But consider this wisdom from Epictetus. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. 
Isn't it strange that we let tiny icons on the screen dictate our mood? Stoicism urges us to find validation from within. Self-worth shouldn't be measured by online clout, but by personal values, actions, and character. The next time your post doesn't get the expected traction or someone slides into your DMs with a snide comment, remember, your worth is not up for public voting. You're your own judge and jury. Recognize life's natural cycles. Loss is painful, whether it's a favorite hoodie, a cherished memory, or a loved one. But, as Marcus Aurelius stated, loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. In the vast ecosystem of existence, everything has its season. Trees shed leaves only to sprout new ones. Similarly, life presents endings and beginnings, each teaching us, shaping us. Rather than clinging to what was, Stoicism invites us to appreciate life's impermanence. It's a call to live fully, love deeply, and let go gracefully. Every sunset, after all, makes way for a sunrise. Seek growth in adversity who hasn't faced a challenge. Maybe it's that dreadful boss, the endless pile of bills, or the metro that's always late. It's easy to complain, to wish life was a bit kinder. But Seneca once proclaimed, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Think of challenges as life's personal gym sessions for your soul. When hurdles appear instead of asking, why me? Ponder, what's this teaching me? Every adversity carries a lesson, a potential for growth. It's just a matter of perspective. If Stoics were around today, they'd probably say, bring it on. Cultivate inner riches. In an age of opulent Instagram feeds and the constant show of affluence, it's easy to equate happiness with material gain. Yet, Seneca remarked, it's not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. True wealth isn't about the latest gadgets or designer labels. It's the contentment of the soul, the richness of experiences, the treasure of memories. The Stoics remind us that while it's okay to enjoy life's luxuries, one shouldn't be enslaved by them. For in the end, it's the stories we've woven, not the possessions we've accumulated, that truly matter. Understand and accept fate. Now, I'm not saying you should blindly accept everything, but as Epictetus pointed out, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen. Life, with its myriad complexities, is a blend of our efforts and the universe's designs. Sometimes, despite our best moves, the outcome isn't in our favor. But instead of being bogged down by what didn't go as planned, Stoicism nudges us to embrace what's on our plate. After all, the most captivating stories often emerge from the most unexpected turns. Be of service to others. We live in a world bursting with opportunities to make a difference. As Seneca reminds us, we are all bound together in a partnership. Stoicism isn't just about personal enlightenment, it's about community upliftment. By aiding another, we not only enrich their lives, but add meaning to our own. Whether it's helping a neighbor, volunteering, or simply being there for a friend, every act of kindness echoes in the universe. Remember, it's not just about thriving solo, but elevating others along the journey. Reflect, review, and realign. The bustling world doesn't often grant us pauses. Yet, as Marcus Aurelius noted, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Regular reflection is the mirror to our souls. Taking a moment to introspect helps us identify our patterns, realign our paths, and refresh our perspectives. Consider it a regular system update for your life. Ponder upon your actions, learn from missteps, and celebrate small wins. For in understanding oneself, we pave the path to true contentment and peace. These ten principles aren't about being emotionless or aloof. They're about fostering resilience, embracing the present, and leading a life of purpose and depth. Well, my delightful virtual companions, as we draw the curtain on this enlightening journey through the hallowed halls of Stoicism, I can't help but reflect on how these age-old principles seem to fit so snugly into our frantic modern existence. 
just goes to show some truths are truly timeless, eh? Now I've got a cheeky little challenge for you all. In the comments below, I'd love for you to share which of these stoic gems resonated with you the most. Did Seneca's wisdom strike a chord? Or was it Marcus Aurelius who felt like your newfound confidant? Let's get this conversation started so we learn from each other. But wait... Before you dive headfirst into the world armed with this newfound stoic wisdom, I've got a small request. If you found even an ounce of value today, a smidgen of enlightenment or simply enjoyed our time together, do consider subscribing, giving this video a big thumbs up and ringing that notification bell. Not for the sake of vanity metrics, oh no, but so we can continue this dance of wisdom sharing and growth. Life's a journey sprinkled with challenges and surprises, but with the right mindset and a dash of stoic spice, it can be quite the delightful adventure. Here's to mastering the art of letting go and living with intention and gusto. Until our next digital rendezvous, keep the fire of curiosity burning and the spirit of stoicism alive. Cheerio.